But yeah, like going back in the day, like regarding how you post on Instagram, your like the pictures yeah. we'd see like blacked out eyes and stuff of that nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What what did you do to maintain that aesthetic or achieve that aesthetic rather? Um, was it just a part of you? Or was it just you or? Um, the thing is. With me, like, that was back in, like, 2017. Mm. So that was 17 year, 16, 17 year old me. And that's when, um, like, I was, I was in a dark place, man. To be honest, like, I was on Zans. For me, I was on Zans, like, a lot. Because I, I was just, I just, I just felt like shit about a lot of things. Um, so, like, the whole blacked out eyes was just to por- portray, like, how I was feeling inside. You feel me? Because, like... Yeah. People say your eyes are the gates to your soul. Gets to your soul, yeah. You feel me? And that yeah. was just like a thing that I just resonated with at that time. Um, so like, yeah, I, it wasn't even anything to do with aesthetics. It was just more like, this is just how I feel. Yeah. So I'll get a, you know, we'll get the shoot done and then I'll just tell the, the photographer what I want to be done. Yeah. You feel me? So yeah. that was my, my aesthetics to match that type of vibe. I, I'm not going to lie, there was the idea of keeping that aesthetic but it's not really like an aesthetic if it's who I am I mean it is but like you know it I wasn't really trying to viewers yeah, to exactly, fans exactly yeah. I wasn't really trying to do something I was just posting what I thought was cool yeah but did you notice like even back then bro your clothes dark tones most of the time yeah like legit you'd always be wearing black or black and grey or yeah. black and dark blue yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah yeah that's that's actually that's very interesting that you know, it's <laughs> I haven't thought about it like that until just now. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, man. That yeah, because was... I watched an interview um, with Skepta and his sister, Julia Denuga, and she was talking about there was a time like 2017, 2018, all he'd wear is black. Yeah. No one would ever see his eyes. He's always wearing shades, and it's because he was in a dark mind state at that point in yeah. time. And sometimes you do these things unconsciously. Yeah, yeah, you just do them. And low-key they're actually representing something but you don't even know it yeah, true. so that's that's, crazy, that's one thing i picked up on i was like yo i've never seen raheem like wear yellow that's crazy <laughs> that's crazy that you, that you say that that's actually do i even have anything yellow bro yeah you can get a nice spongebob outfit bro like now nah, you know the thing is now I've, I've been upping my drip now because i take i've always tried to drip out yeah like now obviously i'm kind of studying the drip yeah because like i actually like it's something I'm really into. So Yeah, the fashion. Yeah. So um that's crazy that you noticed that. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> um, Do you have any favorite I brands right now? Yeah, I have red right now, so Cause you're a blood. Cause you're a blood. Nigga, I ain't no <laughs> Bro, yo, 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 yo. Me the water gang, you feel me? That's the only gang I'm in, bro. Water gang. Yeah, water gang bro. Clean. So what are your favorite brands right now in terms of the fashion? Into Apparel, that is my brand. Um, Into Apparel? Mm-hmm. Your brand? Yeah. You started, have a fashion Yeah, line. bro. I started in Feb. I remember I, you mentioning, yeah, but I didn't know you started it. I started it. Um, It's registered, like... As a company. Yeah, all that shit. Um, mm. Like, that's what I'm saying. February, like, when the year started, there was bare shit. I was supposed bear to have a store up. Yeah. Everything was coming in. Like, oh, yeah, because... Yeah, I remember Alvin mentioning you wanted some yeah, designs yeah, 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 and yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. Like, we even worked on some designs. Yeah. But you know, COVID came, shut down everything. I couldn't import what I wanted to import. Yeah. You feel me? The fabrics, because I didn't want to just get fabrics from here. Because dealing with guys here is not gonna help. As much as I love Kenya, bro, like it's stressful. Stress, it's stress, bro. Stress. Um. So yeah, it's it's just something like I'm into, bro. You feel me? That's what I'm. That you feel me? I'm into. That's why it's into apparel. Into apparel. Ah. Ah. So like okay. yeah. So, so into so, apparel. It's a bar. It's a bar. <laughs> And, it, and the, the also the other meaning it has two meanings yeah. is like being into apparel and then at the time I was getting really intuitive I told you at the beginning of the year yeah, yeah. I was meditating a lot yeah. like I was trying to change my life getting into your intuitive exactly, sense exactly and oh. into is also it represents the intuition you know following oh. intuition rather than whatever fuck what everyone else thinks bro what do you want like how do you feel yeah you feel me that's what you should trust what you're feeling inside. I hear that. So that's always what it's been about. Whatever you're doing, any field, any aspect, go hard 
the way that you think is hard. Don't. You can get ideas from people, yes, but the ideas you think are cool. You feel me? That's how you grow. You feel me? You can't draw from your imagination because you're gonna. You can, but it's not gonna be that good. But if you draw from you know reference, like I like this artist, the way he draws shapes. Yeah. I can take that aspect. Yeah. And then I like how this person achieves the 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 lines and the. You feel me? Yeah. Take that aspect. That's that's how you grow as an artist, and then slowly you will start to. Add Put your, your own, own twist, twist on it. And then you find your own, you find your own, own lane. Sauce. That yeah. you, you feel that it's super cool. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So that's how everyone, there's, there's always going to be something new because everyone's different. No one's going to be the, the same. exact same. Yeah, yeah. There's something you can see, you can hear musically that I can. That you can. Facts. Even as much as I make music. Yeah, we experience art exactly. differently. Exactly. We see movies differently. Exactly. We hear music differently. Exactly. It's facts. It's yeah. facts. So... In terms of like what you just said, in terms of drawing reference, I always tried to like, when I would listen to your music, I'd always try to think about where you've drawn influence from mm. and I could never put my finger on it. Yeah. I feel like one time, like at the end of Hades, this was a, a dumb idea that I had, but I was like, oh, maybe the deep voice thing at the end of Hades, when the voice is, when the song is in yeah. reverse, sounds like it's in reverse. Maybe that deep voice, that's some ASAP shit. Like, yeah, old really ASAP. But apart from that, I've never... Maybe on, on the run, the production, there was something about that production that took me back to, like, Travis Scott. Yeah. Michael Carpenter is insane yeah, for that no, beat as insane, well. insane. No, no cap. So... So, no cap. <laughs> so who have you drawn, like, influence from as an artist? Yo, artistically, man, I have... Um, that's the thing I, I, I don't really when people ask me my top 10 like I do have a top 10 but I don't even arrange it yeah, you know, because, yeah. Like, no chronological are, order it's so good in different ways so but people I draw inspiration from it Drake yeah. nothing was the same changed my fucking life I can't cap yeah that's my favorite Drake yeah, album yeah nothing was the well. same was crazy um, but even his older shit um, take you know, care take care was hard yeah. um, so far gone is, I still I listened to it yesterday I went through it again I love it um, so Jake was a big part of the sound I really fucked with. Tory Lanez, talented. Um, who else? The weekend. Yeah. The weekend. Like Toronto niggas, but Toronto's different, bro. I can't cap. Canada has has some some heavy hitters. Yeah. Um, who else? Young M A. I fuck with Young M A. Young M A is the hardest female rapper. Fuck with anybody else is saying. <laughs> the only other person who's giving her a run for her money is yeah. Beatty. No cap. If you ask me, if if you if I, I'm to be asked, yeah, and it's you know, a, a, million, a millionaire question, yeah, Beatty, Young M A, best female rapper, rappers, you feel me? For me personally, yeah. So yeah, Young M A, um, Roy Woods. Oh, that's another Roy Toronto. Woods, yeah, 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 Roy Woods. Um, who else? Chief Keef. I can't cap. Yeah, you feel me, Chief Keef. <laughs> the Chief Keef one's weird because I cannot hear Chief Keef yeah, in your yeah, music you feel at me, all. But, like there's those ways he he. He puts he has bars but in a dumb way but yeah. in a hard yeah yeah so, yeah so like I usually try sometimes like what I do because I'm very a perfectionist I try and complicate things you feel me yeah and like listening to Chief Keef bro that nigga does some simple ass shit but it's so hard yeah you feel me so like that that's the aspect that kind of I took from him you know yeah, like yeah. it's some sometimes adding you, some simplicity you, to you you don't need to be doing the most, the most. Every, too much every time bro so. That's that's an aspect that's from Chief Keef. Yeah. Um. Who else do I really fuck with? X X X S Tinta C R I P. That's somebody who really inspired me at a dark time. You feel me? Like back then, and he was always different on every song. Nah, X is just that guy was different. He bro. was talented as different, fuck, bro. bro. Like, saying. if he was still alive, easily that guy could be selling five hundred k a week. No cap, bro. He easily. was he was different, bro. That's yeah. that's the truth. Fact. So yeah, X was huge inspiration. Um. Black, oh, uh, black. I uh, fuck with. He's so talented, bro. Black is so talented. Um, and he's on some real shit. Yeah. Like when I listen to these people, I feel something. Yeah. You feel me? I yeah. feel something. It's not just for the for the beat or the. Some people listen to the songs just because the beat is hard. You feel yeah. Me? Facts. Um. So yeah, black is also up there. A Reese, South Africa. Mm. A Reese is. If you haven't heard A Reese, bro, you should check him out. Crazy guy, independent too. 
Um, I fuck with that so hard. Young Amy is also independent. Yeah. So that's also something I really fuck with. And Nasty C. Nasty C. Nasty C. That Jeez. guy inspired me a lot back in 2016 when he was coming up. Yeah. So, when he was a young and still. Yeah, and like just how he was, his bars are also very good. I can tell his writing is very talented. So those are people that I, over the years, I've drawn inspiration from all those people. There's, there's more, but those are the 10 I can think of right now. Damn. Yeah. Interesting one for me. When I think about it, like listening to your new new stuff, yeah. um, I can hear the black in it. Yeah, you can hear it. Yeah, yeah. I can yeah. hear the black in it for sure. Even like the weekend, you were one of the guys that was fucking with the weekend early, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. early. Back in the day. Yeah, bro, because I remember like being youngins and you put me on to um, his cover of Dirty Diana, yeah, bro. And yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, this yeah. isn't Michael Jackson, <laughs> That's bro. The like, saying, yo. But. The production on that was insane. That's what I'm saying. The weekend been on it, bro. Yeah. He been on it, bro. Facts. Damn. But yeah, that's an interesting list, bro. Yeah. The Chief Keef one, I, I, it makes sense how you draw the influence yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. No Cause problem. like listening to a song like Fernetto, bro, it's just bro, it's when I'm back. He's I'm not done. saying much. Yeah, he's literally not but saying much, but the, the way he's delivering it. He's delivering it complements each other exactly. so much and it's such a hype song. Exactly. There was bro. even the, the debate on what's more hype, Mo Bamba. Or Fanito. Yo. Bro, it has to be Fanito, bro. There's a whole video of a, a, a whole floor Yeah, a whole floor falling, falling, falling through. through, yeah. Bro, there's there's nothing you're even saying. <laughs> that's it. That's all it is. Facts. I ain't seen nobody bro, march to Mobamba like bro. that. That's it. Trust. And Damn. how simple that shit is. Even Mobamba goes hard and it's such a simple Simple song, yeah. Exactly. Legit, legit. Sometimes it's also the energy you put into the track. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah. That could literally have like a it's weird because music speaks in so many different ways. Exactly. And sometimes someone listening to what you've done can resonate with how you delivered it yeah, in the yeah, studio yeah, 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 and exactly. it reflects, bro. And exactly. it's exactly it's just crazy to think that that's a thing, man. And that's exactly. why I'd say like thematically Making a project is, if you have a theme or you're trying to achieve a theme with it, it's it's hard to do. Yeah, but the people that do it, that's oh. what I'm saying. They are different, bro. They're talented. Yeah, that's the art. That's the artistry you can see. Facts. That's what I look for. Like just how somebody achieved something, whatever the genre, bro. Me, I listen to indie, some you know, some yeah. some laid back ass shit. Yeah, for me, but. I can appreciate just just the progressions and the cadence and the you feel me the delivery yeah the vocals you know because some indies singing you feel me and just the riffs all that shit just comes into play and it's yeah. like this is a piece of art just how yeah. everything comes together and complements the whole thing crazy trust yeah trust damn bro so on some weird shit <laughs> I know you didn't always want to be a rapper. Yeah. I remember there's a time, and this this is a lot of Kenyan boys. Yeah, 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 yeah. We wanted to be ballers, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We so, wanted to play football, bro. Football, football. So bad, like so bad. Football. So, I know you got a knee injury. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're one of them guys. <laughs> so, when you played ball, like you felt like you could literally make it, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it it was there was a point I was at the peak of just me being very good. Yeah. Um and then like my knee started acting up yeah. before I was properly injured. Um and it's actually a thing in my family, like the bones is just different. Yeah. So, so I I started feeling different about it. And I just the you know, as a young and like I just thought about it like what if this fucks me up? And like I planted that seed, I can't cap. Oh. I planted that seed of Jeez. what if this fucks me up? And then yeah. I was always being too cautious. Now I was getting too cautious with with how I play, and that fucked up my game. And but I still got to. I was playing for. I remember twenty sixteen. I was already rapping at this point. I was playing for Liberty, um, at the time, and the the coach for the team was Ghost Mule. I don't know if you know. Him. No. Gus Mule used to coach Arambi Stars at the point. He's like a very good guy, man. He's a very good coach. He pushed me a lot. Um, but then, yeah, like during one of those games when I really got hurt, I hurt my knee properly, like proper. So that's when I just knew um, the, the football thing I can't really do anymore. Yeah. But um, 
Yeah, man. Uh, I thought I was going to make it no cap. Um, let's say 14, 15. Yeah. 15, I think, was my peak age. And even beginning of 16, yeah. I was feeling really good about it. And then after that injury, mm-hmm. man, it was different. It just took the soul out yeah, of yeah, ball yeah, for you. Yeah, it was different. It was different. But I, mean, I still love football to this day, for me. Yeah. Ball is life, bro. It always That's still my first love, bro. That's my first love. I can't <laughs> cap. Yeah. I hear that. So, yeah. I hear that. So yeah, dude, we actually talked for a hell of a time. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it was just so seamless yeah, and yeah, effortless. Yeah, it's like me. it's not, it's not weird. Yeah, I'm not thinking of what to say. <laughs> At the end, so, bro, those radio interviews. Sometimes I'm just like, oh my days, get off the air. It's embarrassing, bro. Damn. Like, so, and I get secondhand embarrassment a lot. Like I'm the type of guy, even when I've watched the movie. Mm-hmm. And I know something embarrassing is about to happen. I'll pause that shit and go do something for 10 minutes and then come back. And now I'm prepared for what's about to happen. Even though I've already watched it before. <laughs> like, it's embarrassment. Like, yo, I hate being embarrassed. For, even for someone, I just feel like, damn, it's crazy. Jeez. Yeah. So you don't mess with, like, um, mainstream media interviews? It depends. <sighs> it depends. It depends. Mm. If, if, cause some of the, some of the shit niggas be asking, it's just like, why? What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> like literally, I hear that. Like you're asking me about shit that has no significance at all. But you know I'm on the air, <laughs> so I have to. Yeah. For me, and yeah. personally, I'm not like a. I can become. I can be a dick if you're a dick to me. But like my first instinct is not to be a dick. You feel me? So I have to be pushed to the edge for me to be a dick back. So yeah, yeah. Mainst- and I feel like mainstream media is very controlled. Yeah, I prefer like you see how I'm working with you right now. Like I know you, you feel me. And yeah, it's like, in a sense, we're helping each other, cause yeah. I'm I'm talking about shit that no one really knows apart from like a few people. And if people, there's people who want to know, they're gonna get to know. Facts. And it's from you now. Yeah. And the only reason I'm telling you is cause I know you. You know what I mean? There's Facts. some trust established. Yeah. Yeah. So like. It depends, because like someone like, for example, like I mentioned Corinne, if Corinne asks me for an interview, I'd, I'd be down to do it, because I know her back. Because you know her, yeah, yeah you exactly. know her. Oh, nice. So like, how important is like, um, your relationship with people that you work with regarding music, mm-hmm. your, your, in terms of artists, producers, videographers, how very important, important is it? Very important. I can't force vibe. If, if I'm not vibing, I'm not vibing, you feel me? Like guys have told me, oh, make us long with this person. You feel me? Do this, do that. Like, uh, oh, you do it, man. You feel me? You, <laughs> st- you start writing and do it. You yeah. feel me? Like, guys be telling me, oh, it's the same concept as, as guys telling me to, at yo, put Swahili in your music. Bro, Nezabonga Swa, that's the fact. I talk Swa to my boys. You've heard, you've heard yeah. even my jokes, like I boss. Yeah, your Swa is way better yeah, than mine, and it's bro. so funny to me. Like, yeah. jokes in Swa are <laughs> funny. funny. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Like, and but in terms just, of yeah, just the fact of me not putting in my music doesn't mean I don't want to talk so or I hate so bro. Like I fuck with so heavy. My my mom's side, my like from tighter coastal ends, bro. Like yeah. they my mom speaks it with a Swahili accent. Yeah. You feel me? Like that's just that that's my background as yeah, well. Yeah. So it's not about that the only thing I don't fuck with is like people are telling me, oh, you know, if you put so hidden in your songs, it's it'll, gonna it'll blow, blow up. up. Yeah, yeah, it'll be better. I'm just like, like yo, listen, bro, I'm not doing music to blow up. Yeah. For me, I have a vision. I have what I think is cool. I have a message. So Haiti is cool, yeah. To Kenyans and you know people who know it. Yeah. And, and that's not a problem. Yeah. I fuck with bare so Haiti artists. You feel me? Wakadi Nali go hard. You feel me? Yeah. Coach guys go hard like the guys doing it are doing it. You feel me? But personally, I'm not gonna do it just for the sake of you feel me. Getting I'm views, blowing up, or yeah, blowing getting up. views. Like if I get two two K views, I'm cool, bro. Yeah. But I know I went hard on what I did. Yeah. And I fuck with that shit. And the people who listen to it and who give it give it a chance. A chance. And not just say it doesn't have Swahili. I'm not gonna listen to it. Will fuck with it. And I want anybody around the world who knows English, which is like I think the most global language, yeah, to that be able to understand it. what the fuck I'm saying and what the message I'm putting out. Cause, yeah, nasty. See, rapping, they said he was rapping back in 2016 when I just started, you know, having this dream clear yeah. in my mind. Yeah, inspired me a lot. So, 
and like this hard South African artist as well, but the, when they're rapping rap in Zulu, in Zulu yeah. I don't get it, bro. Yeah. So I'm not gonna look for that. Like it's cool for that region, yeah. and I can definitely see the 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 artistry, the artistry in it. And there's other there's other songs I have on my phone that are French and Spanish, and like I appreciate the artistry, but it's only for that specific reason it's not for the message and for me if i fuck with someone really heavy it's because of what they're saying saying yeah the message for me and how they're they're saying it and how they're phrasing it yeah and how they're the if you're structuring it with you know linguistically you feel me so that's just what it is for me the same with now messing with artists you feel yeah. me? I, i'm i'm working right now with, with jovi and 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 Swahili Papi, like them guys be on that same shit. Yeah, on the Swahili so, shit. Yeah. yeah, I don't have a problem, but yeah. I fuck with their vibes. Yeah. And Jovi always shows love. Bro. Yeah. And yeah. he goes hard. He's a cool Swahili guy. Swahili Papi goes hard as well and he shows love, you feel me? And everyone I've worked with so far, you feel me? It's been on some love shit. Yeah. I don't want it to be like I'm like on some song, corporate yeah, shit where it's like, yeah, oh, we like, have to meet it this time. And act like we're cool in front of the yeah, camera, and then that's, that's, when the camera dips, it's you just say bye me, and dip. It's dead vibes for me, bro. Like I have to fuck with your vibes, cause I know what I'm, I'm about to give you in this this song is like a piece of yeah. my story, and like that's something I'm, I protect a lot. My energy and my yeah. my time. Yeah. If you're not worth it, no hate, love and guidance to you, but you have your life to live, and I have mine. You feel me? Simple. So, and it's okay not to. To like, agree, yeah, and that's it's it. Calm. I, but yeah, that's dope. I feel like one word you mentioned that's so important when you work with different people it's the love, bro. Yeah, you, you can literally feel the love like when you're working with a videographer, yeah, when you're yeah, working facts. with another artist, a producer, and facts. and it's so important in terms of like how things turn out, you know, because you could do something extremely commercial with the most popping artist in Kenya, but. True. Some people could tell this that was you don't, forced. Yeah, yeah, that this you don't was, fuck with That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The people who know, the people who know, like who have the eye for it, who have the ear for it, will be able to tell this was forced. Yeah. As much as yeah, it's popular. Yeah, it's doing well. If this was forced. Yeah. And that to me is something I've said. I've, I've forced something, and I never want to feel like that again because I felt like shit. I I didn't like it. Yeah. Yeah, there's a hype and all that. Cool. Like, I'm not about the hype, man. Like, trust me. Uh, I, what I went through and, you know, when I was coming up with the, with the hype at first, because if I'm honest, I was, like, one of the first guys to come up, especially in one of the youngest guys yeah, to come up. Yeah, one of the youngest. I was, uh, I was the youngest in the freshman list, 2018. You know, I was there with 28. Shout out to TNT. I was there with, you know, Valerie Mudoni, like, yeah, Jovi. Yeah. I was there with, you know... Um, Bare people that have yeah, established themselves now. Yeah, like, in their older guys and like being the guys who came up and like I I had I felt I felt a certain type of way and it was like yeah I'm beef but like <laughs> at the end of the day at the end of it all is is the hype really worth it it's not it's not worth it if I feel I might feel cool now in the moment but then after, after I just be like, like uh, whatever yeah, I feel weird about it I hear that so like the hype is cool, but then when it's real, it's it's way cooler, cause you know, you know yourself. Yeah. So yeah. So, um, what do you have like in terms of plans for the future, bro? What are you planning on, bro? Um, I, um, EP dropping in December. Not sure of a date yet, but finish recording the EP. Uh, final touches, you know. Um. My video drops, my newest video, Astounded, drops this Friday, yeah. 13th November. Um, so I'm excited to see how that, how that plays out. Um, that's also a song I really, I was in a good space. Yeah. Um, I can't wait for people to like probably listen to it and see how I've really built myself. So that's something I'm looking out for. And then other than that, um, just the fashion brand I, I spoke about earlier, you feel me? Yeah. I'm really invested in that, so I'm even going to schools to study fashion. Cause oh yeah, I'm it's not you weren't going there for like some sound engineering nah, type nah, shit. I was before. Yeah, I thought you were still. Yeah, I was before, but then um, I realized like I can pick up sound engineering from YouTube, bro. Yeah, it's yeah. not that hard. I mean, it's hard, but like, but yeah, it's a skill the, you can with, acquire with exactly with dedication. You're good, 
but with fashion and like having a business, I'm not trying to be the guy who just has the money and I'm just telling people to do things, do that, things I'm, for that I'm not familiar with. Yeah. I want to be able to be, if this person doesn't come in today, I can run that shit. I can do every everything I'm hiring people for. I can, you can do, do it yourself. You feel me? So it's not like you're profit. doing me a favor. Yeah. And that's what I don't usually like. Like when I, it's like I'm forcing you to do something, bro. If you don't want to do it, it's cool, bro. I can do it. Trust. Yeah. It's cool. You love and light, light and guidance. Too, <laughs> it's no bad blood, no hate, but cool. I hear that. So that's why the fashion thing I'm taking is very serious, man. Because I can I can see myself in it. For me, I have the I have the creativity. I have the ability. I draw a lot. You feel me? And I'm very good at you know just piecing ideas together. Something I've realized about myself. So yeah, that's really what I'm really about right now. And maybe uh, nah, I wouldn't even say that. <laughs> I would say that. I would say that it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So yeah, I guess we can wrap it up then. Yo guys, so thanks for watching. It's been a good time with Prince. Rather Raheem as I know him. Thanks a lot for coming, bro. Trust and make sure to go check out his new upcoming EP and his music video for Astounded. And yeah, cheers, guys.